say this video is purposely for Ugandans. Someone asked me the question how to verify the academic documents in Uganda. So I'm here to make this video to all of you. In the future, you may need to satisfy your academic documents in Uganda. So I'm making this video for all of you as well as I'm answering someone's question who asked me that question so I decided to make this video then so that it can benefit very many of you who may need to certify your documents in Uganda so in this video I try to give some few reasons why you may need to satisfy your academic documents then I'll tell you where to go to verify your academic documents and what is needed for you to verify your academic documents so i welcome you to chris media 22 if you are new on this channel please don't forget to subscribe yes subscribe to my youtube channel so that you cannot miss the videos when i upload so that you can be able to get the notification in case I uploaded a new video. So let me jump direct to the video. So some of the reasons why you may need to satisfy your academic documents. Let me talk about the people who are traveling from Uganda. You are coming abroad for work. Especially now here in the Gulf. In the Gulf countries here, you cannot submit your academic document without that satisfy the copy from your name. I don't know if these people, they don't trust our education system or even our education. And some people, they submit fake documents which does not even reflect their performance at work. Then also, some people, they submit documents which does not belong to them. They submit all their friends' documents, all their brothers, all relatives. So they submit fake documents. That's why they continue demanding us to come with satisfied copy from your name. And another reason, it can be to the embassies. Yeah, like a few months back, the U.S. embassy was complaining about that the, the U.S. Embassy was saying that they will delay the visas for Ugandanese due to high number of people who are submitting fake documents which does not meet the standards. So, people, they submit fake documents or documents which does not belong to them. That is one of the reasons why you may need to satisfy your academic documents in Uganda especially when you are planning to travel outside Uganda or you are going for work or where you are going that you may need the, the, your academic documents so it is better you satisfy them instead of going and then you start fidgeting from there you are sending your paper back home to someone to help you to satisfy your academic documents so it is better you do it when you are still in the country then the requirements which you need to satisfy your academic documents so one of the requirement is the letter from your former school if you are satisfying all level you get the letter from that school if you are satisfying A level, you get the letter from that school where you start your A level from. If you are satisfying a diploma from college or institute, you get that letter from that institute. That letter should be addressing the executive director of UNEB. So in this case, it is your former school which writes the letter requesting the UNEB to satisfy for you your academic documents. Am I clear? 
then that is one the letter then you need your certificate of any level you are satisfying a certificate not a pass slip because in uganda we have a tendency of just picking the pass slip which only shows the results you get in each subject remember at your former school there is your certificate a certificate i don't have the certificate here to show you but just know that you have to go back to where you start your senior six or senior four or a level or where you obtain your diploma or degree there is a certificate so it is that certificate which you make a colored copy out of it then you go you collect them those are the copies you take it to your name to satisfy your academic document then another requirement is your national id a valid copy of a national id so you have to make also enough copies out of your id which is valid then in case your certificate get lost or damaged you have to go to police and get the letter from police then you go with that letter you have to first get the letter from your former school you get your certificate or the certificate if it is lost then you get the letter from the police and you go with it to your name then from there if you are going to satisfy and you are going just to obtain the certificate the normal certificate on paper that one they give you will need to pay 50000 uganda ceilings but there is option in case you want also to get the plastic the card which is like our national id that same same or you can pay 100000 to obtain also that card the plastic card which also represents your regional certificate so you can pay 100000 so you go to your name I, did, I forget where your name is Bugorobi. Is it Bugorobi? Where? I forget the location. Sorry. Then you reach your name. It is around in Akawa. That is what I know. You go to your name. You submit those documents. They will give you email from your name. They will, they will tell you to go beside the your name. There is a cafe. There, they will send you there, they will give you email, then you go there, you submit those documents on the given email, they will give you, then you submit your documents through email. Then, before you name, we used to pay that money within your name. So I don't know if the system changed, but according to the message which I found out on their website you can pay that money in a bank or airtel money and mtn mobile money so you get the options from your name there then after you have paid and you submitted your paper to your name they will give you or like two days or one day it will depend then your name they may tell you to go directly to ministry of foreign affairs because sometimes they transport those documents from your neighbor to Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But me, the time I applied mine, it is like now four years back. I went there. After the days they gave me, then I went back to your neighbor. I find out that my documents were still there. The person who was supposed to deliver was not around. So they gave me my paper. I submitted by myself to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Then you go to Ministry of Foreign Affairs. If in case they deliver for you, it is well and good. Then if they give you the, the papers, then you go and submit by yourself. It is also well and good. Then when you reach there, they will encourage you to pay. Me, I paid. It was 25000 in the bank opposite the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It is just opposite. Unless when they changed the bank.
but it is just opposite. Then the Minister of Foreign Affairs is found near KCCA. They are just neighbors. They are just neighbors with KCCA offices. So from there, after you have finished to pay, they will give you the days when to go back and pick your paper. But me, I remember from Minister of Foreign Affairs, I went to Minister of Education also to put the stamp. I was submitting the A level certificate. So they put the stamp also. Then I concluded. But if you were satisfying all level, you will stop on the Minister of Foreign Affairs. But if you are satisfying above that, you may go to other, other departments. Now, like A level, you may go to House of Higher Education. It is also around there. Also to put the stamp on that certificate. Then, I think if it is also a diploma from college, maybe you may need also to go to UBTEP. Then, with that one, I'm not sure. But that is what? I know about how you can satisfy your academic documents in Uganda. So let me hope this video will be helpful for you. Then you don't forget to share to your friend in case they may need also to satisfy their academic documents. Then that is it for today. Just enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe, to like, and also to share.